So today I am working a bit with Sumo. He's the one that I've been keeping in a rolling coat since November, and now it's the beginning of May. So he's actually the most complicated to do, even though I often don't have much to do. And that's because I can't just know from looking at the calendar exactly what he needs done because I work with him every couple of weeks. So how I go about deciding what work needs to be done is first, I just take a look at what I can brush up with my hand. So I can see, okay, there's some light fuzz on his head. So that's something I'm gonna wanna address. I could do that in a couple minutes. Um, here, stand up, buddy. Then, you know, I look at his top line and if there's some long stuff I can take off there, then maybe I pick at that a little. Stand up, buddy. Um, I'm going to look for little light sparse, a light sparse layer right here. I, I hope you can see that. I'm kind of lightly lifting it with my thumb. That's something I could take off with a stone to have new coat growing in and smooth down what I have to get a better finish and to make sure that his neck is nice and tight. I'm going to be showing him in about three weeks. So I'm going to do some work there. And then I come around to the back and same kind of thing. What have I got here that needs pulling off? His tail's a little bulky, so I'll probably need to put some effort. Yeah, his tail is definitely bulky. So I'll have to put some effort into taking some of that hair off. There's a lot, so I wanna be careful not to take too much or it'll just be the same problem of all growing back in at one time. There's a, a few little long, there's just all over, he's got this sparse long layer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that off first i'm going to put some ear powder in the coat take off all the little wispy bits uh pumice stone is good for this job because it won't pull on the the younger quote unquote uh hair that's not ready to pull out and then i'll give him an all over bath he has a hard enough coat that it'll lay back down in time uh, no problem for the shows at the end of May, but that will cause some of this longer hair on his top line to go a little cowlicky once it dries. And that will give me a much better idea of where the long layer is there that I can take off. So that's my game plan with Sumo for today, tomorrow. This clipper work definitely needs to be addressed. Hopefully I'll get to that by the weekend. Um, but even if I don't, it's less important that I have the clipper work done than it is that I keep taking this layer out. Um, so when I have a day or a week where I don't have as much time to put into the coat, uh, part of grooming is the prioritization and knowing I can catch up on the clipper work anytime. But if I let the coat get away from me, then I can't just I can't just catch that up. Uh, that will cause more work for me down the road and maybe impact my um, final results. So, hope that helps. If you have any questions, please uh, go ahead and drop it in the comments. And um, here we go. We're getting close. We're getting closer and closer to the, the big show weekend. So lots of little details coming up between him, my rotated dog, and the other dogs that I've section stripped.